Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. Year-round, you can see this forecast for the main high peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com. To know before you go, Mountainside Real Estate brings you the weather for Thursday. We're looking at morning snow showers, 4 to 8 degrees up top, 17 to 21 at the base, so you will need to dress for January. A little bit of a breeze up top as well, unfortunately, so do be aware wind chill makes it even chillier. Watch out for frostbite, ski with a buddy and enjoy the fresh grooming because the snow stays in great shape when it's cold that's one good thing on friday still remaining cold but partly sunny skies one to five up top 13 to 17 at the base and again a little bit of breeze up top but hopefully it won't interfere with lift operation moderating by the weekend saturday partly sunny 27 at the base 14 up top sunday light snow 33 at the base 24 up top and Monday, at this point, mostly cloudy, 32 at the bottom of the mountain and 22 at the summit. It'll be nice to see temperatures moderate on the weekend. We do hope we get more snow, though. We are not done with winter yet. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for our March 3rd. We're looking at 97 trails and trail sections, 7 lifts in operation, hopefully. Pack powder and hard pack is what you'll find out there. And plenty of grooming on Wednesday night. It'll operate Snubber and Skidway, serving the beginner terrain at 8.30 in the morning. Also, 8.30 start for a super quad skyline and double runner in the center part of the mountain. And on the east side, King Pine and Wiffle Tree, hopefully good to go on Thursday at 9 o'clock. And Timberline, also scheduled to operate at 9 o'clock. We do hope winds won't interfere with that. You can always check at Sugarloaf's website in real time to see what is operating. If you're a good skier, you better get up early and get the fresh corduroy on Gogo Line, Nitro, and Skitter because all three are going to be groomed out flat and perfect, sweet corduroy first thing in the morning. They'll also groom Timberline, Bridal Chain Tote, Skitter, Gauge, Comp, Haywire, Nitro, Wedge, Gogo Line, Sluice, Hayburner, King's Landing, and Candy Side Lower Winters, Boardwalk Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook down here in the flats. On the east side, not so much grooming needed after King Pine not operating on Wednesday. Ram down, two haul, whiffle tree, cruiser slash a rollway on the list, west side scoot and windrow. Don't be afraid to go over to the east side. It didn't get skied off, so it'll still be in great shape from grooming the night before. Current conditions at the outdoor center are fantastic. Cross country skiing and snowshoeing are excellent. For Thursday night, pick up hockey, five till eight. And fat tire trails will be getting back into shape with a little bit of time and a little bit more pack. Hacking. Do be aware out there. Remember, that there's ice hiding under that snow in so many places. And you might also want to know that next week, our March 9th, elections down at the town office from 8 in the morning to 6 in the evening. And then the town meeting will be held at the Outdoor Center that evening at 7 o'clock. So if you are a resident of Carabasset Valley, please be there. Your chance to vote is very precious, so take advantage of it. If you want to know before you go, our quad cam gives you a look in real time of what the weather is doing and what it has been doing with our time lapse also available. You can see them grooming at night. You can also stay in touch with us all year round from anywhere at any time through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've been turning guests into locals since 1979. Know before you go with WSKI.